Shalom, shalom, saints. I do open trust that I find you well. Hallelujah. Welcome to yet another encouraging edition of Victory Moments. Hallelujah. Allow me to read this scripture from the book of Nehemiah, chapter number six, uh, verse number one. Maybe I'll take it to verse number three. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, And uh, now when Sanballat and Tobiah and Geshem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies, heard that I had built the wall and that there was no breach left in it. Hallelujah. Another version says there was no gap and there was no crack. Hallelujah. Although up to that time I had not set up the doors in the gates, Sanballat and Geshem sent to me saying, Come and let us meet together in the plain of honor. But they intended to do me harm. Verse number three says, and I sent a message, and I sent messengers to them saying, I, I am doing a great work and I cannot come down. Why should I stop the work while I leave it and come down to you? Hallelujah. Let me just rush to verse number 11, which says, but I said, should such a man as I am run away? Hallelujah. Now, listen to me, it is in the nature and the habit of men. It is in the nature and the habit of our enemies to try and derail us whenever we are doing a great work. Hallelujah. It is in the nature of our enemies to try and stop whatever that we are doing that is good and that is great. Here Nehemiah had gone back to build or rebuild the walls that had fallen. And when Tobiah and Sanballat noticed that Nehemiah was doing a great work and the walls that he had built had no gap and crack, they decided to stop what he was doing. I want to tell someone this afternoon that let no man stop you from whatever that you are doing. Let no enemy try to derail you from whatever that you are doing. It is in the habit of men to try and discourage us whenever they see that you are destined for greatness. It is in the nature of men that they try to throw stones when they see that you are destined to go far. Some of you, you fail to reach your intended destination because you decided to listen to the Tobias and to the Sanballat of your life. The Tobias and the Sanballat of your life can appear in the form of gossip, can appear in the form of slander, they can appear in the form of betrayal, they can appear in the form of rejection, and sometimes the words they speak, and sometimes the action they speak can divert our attention and cause us to focus on what they have been saying, and cause us to focus on the negativity of life, hallelujah. So in every aspect of our life, there's a Tobias and there's a Sun Ballad. One who notices that mm, this person is doing a great work. This person is destined for greatness. This person, whatever he or she is building, has got no great gap, has got no crack. You know what? It is in the habit and nature of men. When you are starting something, they laugh at you. When you are starting something, they say, ha, they, they are not going to go far. They are not going to go anywhere. You know, Faiz, hakuna kwa zino shika. Itzungui, manye mwaya, hapana kwa ano shika. But as time progresses, they notice the consistency. As time progresses, they notice the persistence. As time progresses, they notice also the progress. Sometimes as an individual, you might not see it. You might not feel it. That I am pushing that I am pulling, that I am building something. There are times that you think that you are just doing something for fun, but you are doing a great work. It might be in business. It might be career-wise. It might be in ministry. I don't know, whatever aspect of your life, there are people who are like Tobias. There are people who are like Sanballat, who will try by all means possible. Listen to me, Nehemiah was up there. It is only those that are down <laughs> that will try to pull you down. Never will you see someone who is up or above you 
trying to pull you down. It is those that are up, that are down, that will try to pull you down. Sometimes in your human eye, sometimes with your physical eye, there are people that you think that they are up there. There are people that you think they are high there. And you ask yourself, why are they fighting me? Why are they pulling me down? No, they are not up, they are down. You are seeing wrong in the physical. Yes, they might seem to be above you. But in terms of substance, they know that mm, this woman, this guy, this girl has gone ahead, has, has gone ahead of me, is pushing great stride. So they will try by all means possible to stop you. Let no one stop you in this season. Let nothing stop you in this season. Listen to me. Tobias and Sanballat and Gershon says, come down to the valley of honor. And Nehemiah was up there. And he says, I am not coming down. You know what, my sister? Refuse to come down in life. There are times that people will provoke you so that you lower your standards. There are times that people will provoke you so that you come down to, the, to their level. There are times that side chick will provoke you. You are the married woman. You are with the husband. The side chick can provoke you so that, they will, so that you will come to their level. Don't give in. Don't come down. Nehemiah says, I am doing a great work. I am not coming down. You instead should come up here. I am not coming down. Refuse to come down. Circumstances might try to pull you down. But I want you to say, I am not coming down. Situations might try to pull you down. Declare that I am not coming down. Forces might try to pull you down. Declare that I am not coming down. Hallelujah. If you read further, the Bible says, Tobias and Balat and Geshem says, they want to kill you. They were threatening Nehemiah, lying to Nehemiah. They were threatening and telling him lies that they want to kill you. Come, let's hide. And Nehemiah says, should a man like me run? You know what? There are times that when we are building something, when things begin to act and go in a direction that we're not planning or in a direction that we are not anticipating, we quit and we run away. We leave everything. So I will start all over again. I will think of another business idea. I will start another ministry. I will leave this church. I will leave this company. But you know what? A man like you, a woman like you, should not run away. Do not run away from the troubles. Do not run away from the pressures of life. Do not run away from the battles of, the, of life. Instead, face them head on. Instead, take them head on. Hallelujah. Show up. When they think that you are about to re, uh, retreat, show up. When they think that you are about to give up, should a woman like you run away from your marriage? Should a woman run away like you run away from your church? Should a woman like you run away from your business? Should a man like you run away from your company? Should a man run like you run away from your church? No, hell no. We are not like those that run away. We are not like those that draw back. Let no one. Let nothing, let no force stop you. In this season, we are not stopping at anything. The Bible says, be, be confident of this, that he who began a good work unto you will carry it unto, into you, will carry it unto completion. He who began a good work in you will carry it unto completion. Don't stop. Don't stop. This is my message to someone. Don't stop. Sometimes you're not seeing the fruits of what you're doing. Sometimes it's not, you are not seeing the, the, the way you are going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Sometimes discouragement is overweighing encouragement. Don't stop. Don't stop at anything. Keep fighting. Keep pressing. Keep pushing. I don't know the project that you are pursuing. I don't know what you are doing. Do not despise the days of a humble beginning. This is my message to someone. Do not despise the days of humble beginnings. Keep pushing. Keep pressing. Don't go down to the valley of honor. I want you to shock the Tobias and the Sanballat of your life by not giving up, by not retreating. Keep building. Keep pushing. Don't stop. God bless you.